Hello, it's um, Bini here. Today, in this video, I'll be sharing with you how um, you can open a trade on close your trade, or rather, place an order in MetaTrader 4. All right. So, a few things you need to get ready first. Um, you need to log into your trading account, whether it is a demo account or live account. You need to log in. All right. So, how do you know that you have already logged in? Uh, at the uh, bottom right hand corner here, you should be able to see this. That is like a um, a sign to show that they are sending data into your platform into the mt4 platform so you should see that um, it is not uh, no connection you should see also some numbers there especially you know things like um 252 kb or it can be 1 kb it can be 10 kb doesn't really matter what it does is that it show is uh, sending data over all right so once you are connected first you can place your order and simply just go to new order here all right so this is new order so once you click in and choose the currency that you want so let's say for example i have the chart in euro uh, you would always always show the symbol as euro dollar all right so if you like to change the symbol you can just click on the small little down arrow at the right hand side it will show you the different uh, pairs that you are able to trade in for example you want to put in a trade in dollar yen and that's dollar yen all right so just display uh, the trade in uh, euro dollar for the moment all right, so there are different execution type. So that will be the market execution. Uh, then you have the pending order. So the market execution means that you're going to just execute right away. The pending order means that this is a order that is like a market order, uh, a market limit order, which is a limit order that you place as a queue. So you want a better price from right now. So you place a pending order. All right, so you can define your stop loss. The stop loss is the price that is... Uh, uh, where you can control your risk. So if you're buying, the stop loss will be lower than your buy price. Uh, the take profit will be the place that you are going to lock in some money. All right. So if you're buying, the take profit would be higher than your buy price. All right. So for example, if you are shorting, then the stop loss would be higher than your sell price. Okay. The take profit will be lower than your sell price. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep this blank first. All right. And then I'm just gonna execute the trade in. Let's say, for example, I think that euro is going to go up and I'm just going to execute a buy market. All right. And I will just buy one standard lot. Okay. You can just change the size, whatever that you want, whether it's uh, one standard lot or whether it's 0 0.1 or whether it's a micro lot. All right. 0 0.01 here. All right. It doesn't really matter. You can just change that as and when that you like. But I'm just going to execute a um, one standard lot in this buy trade here. All right. So. Uh, if I want to buy right now, I just have to click buy by market and then you see it can it can quickly process your order and it says that your buy purchase is actually successful. So I just have to click OK here. Then next question is then where can you see what you have executed? Then take a look at this one which is called terminal or you can press Ctrl T. Now everything would be housed under your terminal here. So the trade that I've done will be in my terminal. You can see that I have bought uh, Euro dollar one standard lot and right now it's at a loss of 15 and 98 all right i want to key in my stop loss okay so you can just right click that and then modify your order by inserting in your stop loss okay so for example i want the stop loss to be at slightly below the price that i bought because i i don't want it to uh, have a huge stop loss i can just key in 1.11 zero zero perhaps okay so this is the loss of about 14 pips um of 15 pips from what i bought in all right and then i can key in the profit target if i want to have a nearer profit target maybe let's say at 1.1130 all right so i can just key in 1.1130 and then just click ok here all right so i just have to wait for this trade to happen okay now what if let's say i have an assisting trade and i want to close it all right so you can just quickly press this cross button here Okay, you can close your order or you can just right click and then press this closed order here. So whichever you want to trade, let's say for example, you want to do it in um, gold that I, I had here. All right, just right click, close it or you can just press the cross here. All right, so for example, I like to close my euro dollar that I've placed in just now because I don't think that it is very good already. I can just press the cross button here like this and then just close my euro dollar. Right, please do not press sell or buy by market. You have to close it. All right, so these will successfully close your trade. Okay, so right now I'm just going to demonstrate how to close the order. 
I'll be closing this order here, cro cross it, all right, and then press close, okay, and that's it. So the order has been closed, and you know I have exited this trade already, all right. So placing in an order in MetaTrader Four is really very easy. Just let me recap how we're gonna do it. So it's via this button here, which is terminal, that you can see your trade, and then any orders that you want to have, you can just press new order here. All right, or you can just right click your chart and you want to say go under trading here and you can just place your buy limit, sell stop or any new order or simply just press F9.